Oh, I have the stock full time. Hold on. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Apple. And this, of course, oh, is a commentary. Oh, the first commentary I've actually done oh, in a them. long, long it's time. Awesome. I thought I owed you guys one, considering, oh, you know, so Aftermath just uh, come out. A whole bunch of stuff's, hours. you know, released since I last did a commentary. Exactly. And I thought it's appropriate to now do one, considering someone on Twitter asked for a sniper gameplay. And about three hours before, I just finished okay. playing this okay. game. Um, it's a 40 and 12, I think. I mean, the score isn't amazing or anything, but it has some nice shots and some funny moments in there. And I just saved it and I had no nothing to use it for. And someone asked to see gameplay, so I thought, why not? Um, about the gameplay, it's obviously not the entire game, or that will be like 20 minutes of pretty, pretty much boredom because I'm playing Conquest Large, and that can be can be fairly boring at times but it's the mode I play I mean it's not boring playing but I can understand how it can be boring to watch as all the time it's running between flags you know getting a single kill and moving on so I cut out all the boring stuff as well as you know deaths um, that were just kind of pointless and taking up time so I cut it down to like Eight minutes? I don't know, I can't see on this Tony Vegas slider, but I'm just going to talk until the no. slider finishes up. Um, but I cut it down to some entertaining bits. And what's enjoyable, I'm using the M48-5, and I'm playing with my buddy T-Space. Um, you'll probably recognize him because he, he's in a lot of my recent videos because I've been playing with him a lot lately. Um, just one of the funnest people to play with. Actually, I'm going to take this time to promote his channel, and he's probably not going to like this because he's very modest, but you should definitely subscribe to him. Oh, just wait. Do you see that? That was a headshot, right? And I got a hit marker, and then just wait for it. 97 kill assist. I don't know about that, but I slowed that down just so you could see that headshot, and then the 97 kill assist. I've been getting them a lot late, lately. It's been getting annoying. Me and T-Space think it's a glitch when you get a headshot and somehow dice confuses itself and thinks it's a, yeah. a body shot of some sort, but either way, I just thought I'd slow that down and let you guys see such example. Um, but anyway, wow, onto T-Space, he's probably the best sniper I know, he's probably one of the best nice. snipers on YouTube, if not nice. the best. Uh, he's <laughs> only ever played normal core, he's the number four sniper with the M40A5 in the world. Um, has something ridiculous like a 90% headshot ratio with them, with sniper rifles, because he actually taught me um, basically always go for headshots, and it's made me a way better sniper. Basically, get to the point where you hate you hate yourself getting a body shot. Um, and he's actually built a series about around that thought, and I was actually in the recent episode, so that's kind of come along nicely. It's called. RTHS or Road to Headshots. His latest one I'll actually link because you know I, I was, I guess you could say, special guest starring in it. Um, and he's actually using the crossbow scoped, um, which is quite hilarious. It was quite fun that game. Um, and it's basically where he only goes for headshots. And I'll link that in the description. And actually, in this game, I challenged him to use the Expo uh, Red Dot sight or Cobra sight only. So. <laughs> He wasn't having the best of luck with that one because he's mainly used to the scope. Uh, so enough of promoting T-Space. Um, the bloody bastard doesn't deserve it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I think I should talk about two things I need to talk about that people have been wondering. Uh, snipers. Pretty much every video I have which has sniper gameplay, it's what's your favourite sniper? And right here, I think it's a perfect place to show that. It's the M40A5. And reasons being is two reasons. One, it's the fastest fire. It's basically the fastest bolt action in the game. By what I mean by that is it's a really fast reload, and more importantly, it's a, an incredibly fast rate of fire compared to the others, especially compared to ones like the M98B. Uh, I don't really care about the damage models of them, considering I I try my best to only go for headshots. So the damage model doesn't really matter, considering the M48-5 is the fastest, and I don't plan on no scoping people, which is what the SV-98 is good at. Um, I nearly just burped. Wow. <laughs> um, saved it. 
considering it's the fastest, it's probably the... It's not probably, it is the best for the situation that I'm in. And secondly, the other reason I like it, it's just, just the way it feels. The way I, I like to use guns are the way they feel. I could care less on how they actually are useful in the game. I just enjoy things like the sound and just, you know, just that satisfaction of getting a headshot with this gun. So they're the two reasons why I use that. Uh, it's, a, it's a great sniper rifle and if you're looking to get better with bolt actions, I suggest using this one because it's a nice, easy in between the SV98 and the M98B, with the M98B having a very uh, low um, bullet drop and the SV98 probably having the highest. This is an in between, so you get used to bullet drop um, at longer ranges. Um, I'm just rambling shit here. <laughs> oh, I, I don't do commentary, so excuse me for, you know, not being good at these, yeah. Uh, so uh, basically, M48.5, thumbs up from Apple, uh, and that's it. And now, I am playing, uh, uh, what's the name, Azamari, uh, that's pro I'm probably butchering this, let's just call it Palace. I'm playing the Palace of the new Aftermath DLC, and I'll use this time to give my opinions on the Aftermath DLC, and short and simple, it's the best DLC. I love it. It is perfect, absolutely perfect for Conquest no, Large. My favourite mode, um, with Karkam being one of my favourite maps, and uh, Sharky Peninsula actually being my favourite map. And these maps remind me incredibly of that map. And it's just a lot of fun. It's it plays perfect to my playstyle. While a lot of people, when Armored Kill come out, were like, "Yes, this is the Battlefield was meant to be. All the vehicles and stuff." But Battlefield was never always about vehicles. While Armored Kill is all about vehicles. If you're not playing engineer or in a vehicle, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're going to die a lot and it just won't be as fun. You just can't play the other classes as useful as an engineer would be. While Aftermath, you can play any class, sniper, assault, engineer, support, and you're just gonna do fine. <laughs> I mean, you have to be, you know, to do fine, you need to be decent at the game, but you, you'll be happy with it with either class. You're not gonna feel Oh crap! I need to put a certain class on to do, to not get absolutely destroyed in the game. And what else can I say about it? The expo—it's a novelty, but it's an incredibly fun novelty. I just recently did an expo fontage. I'll put that link in the description. And it's just very fun to use, and just—it's just a great novelty to kill people with. It, just that sound, pew, and then killing people. It's just—it's it, a lot of fun. Um, the map's an extremely balanced team-wise. Um, I don't think I've ever had an issue of like a game being spawn raped or anything like that. It's very know. balanced. I um, also think that also helps to. I know this is probably a controversial opinion. Uh, then being no jets. If there is an incredibly good jet pilot on a team, they can win a game for the team. It's as simple as that. They can win the game just by being in a jet. Um, while these maps there's no jets, so you never really have that one-sided fight against a jet that you can't take out if you're not good with jets yourself. Uh, so that's basically my opinion on Aftermath and other things, and I know this commentary is probably terrible, and I should probably redo it, but I'm not, because I love you guys, and you should get my first opinions on everything and what just comes out of my mouth. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, uh, check the links in the description and all that sort of stuff, and bye-bye!